Now comes the question that how do we avoid these counterfeit material entering into our own manufacturing or our own system? One of the important tool in that is supply chain mapping. Unless you know where from the material is coming, there is no way you can control, there is no way you can address counterfeit material. So what you need to do is you need to map your supply chain. If you map your supply chain, then you can get a good idea where counterfeit material can enter into your system. So this is a great way to understand and improve your supply chain. This is good for counterfeit material and this is even good for addressing that how does your supply chain works, where you can save money, how you can improve your supply chain from improvement point of view as well as from counterfeit prevention purpose as well, the supply chain mapping is an important tool. Let's understand this tool on the next slide and see how does this tool looks like. So here is a very simple example of a supply chain map. In the supply chain map, the company is at the center and then it lists down all the suppliers it has. So here in this particular case, we have supplier 1, supplier 2 and supplier 3. And below suppliers also, you need to go to the next and next level as well. Because no supplier makes the whole thing which you want. So if you want a pump, supplier doesn't make everything related to pump. It has some sub suppliers as well. Sub suppliers will be making the casing of that pump. Another sub supplier of that will be making the shaft. And this particular supplier, which is supplier one in your case, would be producing pumps for you or any other component which you are buying. So you list down all the suppliers, you list down their sub suppliers as well. So here in this case, supplier one has two sub suppliers, sub supplier one A and one B. Similarly, on the other hand, you put your distributors as well, because it's not that counterfeit material coming into your system is a problem. You can have counterfeit material, your own product, being introduced through different distributors and going through your customers. The copy of what you are producing could go to your customers, which could cause a damage to your own reputation as well. So that also you need to map. So you map your suppliers, you map your distributors to the level of customers, how things come to you and how those products or the service moves to the customer from your end. So all these things are drawn here. And this will give you a good idea where things can go wrong. So if you monitor your suppliers, sub suppliers tightly, make sure that these are reputed one. Your supplier one is not buying things from a shady sub supplier. A sub supplier which has got a bad reputation, you need to monitor that. And that's how this supply chain map will help you in avoiding counterfeit material into your system or going to your customers. So when it comes to spotting counterfeit material, there is no quick and easy method or solution for that. You need to be really alert. You need to be aware of what you want and how things are moving from sub sub supplier to supplier to your end to your customer. All these things you need to be aware of that and you need to be very actively managing your supply chain. How do you spot a counterfeit material? There are few items which I have listed. These might not be that important from industrial point of view, but these might be important from your own personal point of view also. So when next time when you go for a shopping, how do you identify that the item which you are buying is the original item or the counterfeit items? There are few indicators which you can look at that. Whether the item is unusually low priced, then you should be doubting whether the item is original or the counterfeit. It might have a poor looking item or poor packing. It might have an incorrect logo. This might have some spelling mistakes. That can give a good hint that this item is a counterfeit material. Sometimes you get items which are without packing. You should doubt that, that why this item is outside the packing. So you need to look at some indications and find out whether this item is counterfeit or not. This is from personal point of view. From industrial point of view, you might want to send some of these items for testing. These testings could be destructive, non-destructive testing to make sure that the item which you are buying 
has the required level of quality in that. So that's how you spot the counterfeit material. And when it comes to avoiding counterfeit material, the best thing would be to buy from reputed suppliers or distributors only. But problem is when some components gets obsolete and you need those components for repair. Let's say you have an old PC in your house and you need some part for that. Now this part is not readily available in the market. So the only thing you would go is you would go to something like eBay or not very reputed places where you might get that spare, but there is always a doubt whether that spare is good or bad, whether that's authentic, original or a counterfeit material, refurbished, repaired, you will never know that. So that's something which you need to be aware of and particularly in case when you are looking for some obsolete spares and this becomes important for maintenance companies. So if you are doing maintenance and you need spares for that, you might not get the obsolete spares from the official channel. You might have to look at unofficial channels. So these were few strategies related to preventing counterfeit material in your system.